Today we're at the Pittsburgh Regional Employers Forum. It's an opportunity to begin the important conversations around connecting learning, workforce, and economic opportunity. Today we're invited here by the Sprout Fund to give input and to learn more about digital badging and how digital badging can help both candidates that are looking for jobs and to help employers be able to recognize people with great skills to be able to give them an opportunity to show those skills. It's amazing because you actually have employers here at the table, folks that train workforce development organizations and so a lot of people are interacting and responding to the badging conversation. It's not just to get an education by walking into a school in a certain building and having a teacher give you a lesson plan. Education is accessible anywhere you are at any time of the day or night for whatever level of education you want to pursue. From a child learning to read to somebody wanting to earn a PhD. And we have got to create a system around that. Well, I think clearly we have a vested interest in accounting for our student learning and traditionally that's been what kind of a learning is occurring and how much between you know the seven to three times and the you know August to June window so clearly we know that's not enough so those after-school opportunities those summer uh, learning opportunities and those weekend learning opportunities we as an institution have to care about that Currently, the only way that a young person has to represent themselves are through grades, and grades are very opaque. Employers suffer from not being able to really accurately assess people's skills, and actually worse, not being able to accurately assess people's passion. So I think badges are a really great opportunity to combine both. So you have individuals that can demonstrate their passion in a very concrete way that employers can access, they can drill down, they can understand what particular skills, what particular experiences an individual candidate has, uh, to be able to hire them and to, to have this great addition to their workforce on day one. It's so important that we have this conversation with employers so that we understand the opportunities in our region to think about what are the skills that tomorrow's workforce needs and how are we as a community serving those learning experiences to young people. We have to change the mindset of employers around and hiring folks with badges. So if we don't get them to see the importance of a badge and say we're going to go beyond a transfer, beyond a resume, and, and look at something that's a little bit less formal, the badges are not going to have the substance and the weight that they need to have without that. Very different credentials speak to very different types of industries and, and corporations. So is there a way to come up with some common ground? There probably is, but you really need to get everybody kind of into the same room. Until we know what they are and what they stand for and how they're relevant to our organizations, they're not going to be meaningful to anyone. So I think creating this partnership is really key to their success. You know, building the platform, getting students to log in, teachers to log in, parents to log in, and then industry to log in. It's really difficult if we were building a game, you know, to have all these different types of people to be interested in that game or to be interested in that platform, that's hard enough. Employers speak a very different language than educators do, and educators often speak a very different language than kids do, and we need to kind of help build bridges, and for me the primary bridge right now is between kids and employers. You know, badging today is an exciting experiment, but until we unlock badging for higher education, until we unlock it as a pathway toward employment, until we really create the value that a young person wants to earn that badge, it, it remains a nascent disruptive technology. So what's so exciting about the work that we're doing through City of Learning is really taking an ecosystem approach to begin to create value at the learner, to begin to have conversations with higher education, and to really begin to connect that to real world opportunities and economic opportunity.